One of my most favorite looks for summer is Little Cherry. So I just grabbed my little dotting tool. It's nothing fancy. I can give you a link to it if you want. It's from Amazon. It has a smaller side. If you want smaller or bigger side, it comes in a set. Totally fine. Okay. I have my HGH from Files by Less Clear Skies down because I love a good red with a really good aqua. And then this is my HGH um, Lobster from the same Files by Less line. And look, you'll see it's like a true vibrant red. It's almost a little bit more orange than berry, which typically we reach for a little more berry with the cherry. Um, but I beg to differ. I think this is going to be amazing. So we're going to do groupings all over. When you're going to do groupings all over, I find one of the mistakes we make is starting in the middle and working out. I'm going to start in this lower right hand quadrant. And what I'm going to do is make sure I go straight down, wiggle a little and up. I want them a little bigger. There we go. Straight down and up. Now I've got to take into account here. I'm going to do a little, you know, stem and everything like that. So I'm going to move over here. You want to keep the movement of the art is something you want in the back of your mind. Like if you just did center, see how this is like off kilter of center, it's gonna be more interesting and then our stems will come towards the center. And we'll do maybe one down here falling off. The other grouping would be here. And that's gonna pull over that way. I'm gonna do one here and here. And then I'm also gonna have a little Mm, grouping falling off the nail. Okay, so that's fun. Just little cherries all over. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. This is gel polish that cures in 30 second LED. I'm gonna clean this off. If you just set this to the side, your station will get all sorts of messy. So it takes two seconds to just clean that off. And then while their hand is curing in the lamp, you're either working on the other hand or you're prepping your next step. You always want to stay one step ahead in your mind. And I know I'm going to want to do stems next. So I like to do the basic shape and then we'll work our way towards details. Um, you could use a green art gel or even a black art gel at this point. I think since it's summer and we're not afraid of color, we're going to go ahead and use our green art gel. So in order for me to do that, I'm going to go in and wipe this off the brush's edge. And all I need to do is, and in fact, that's a little bit a lot. So I'm gonna pull this through so there's less on my brush so I can do a thinner line. I'm gonna think of the movement of my stem. So I want it to curve down to it. And then here, stay with the same curve down to it. So see how they both arch that way. Here, I'm gonna start here and curve up. And same here, curve up. Now I wanna balance my look, so I'm gonna fill the space here and curve this way. And curve, I need a little bit more there. Curve right into that. And then I'll do one more here, like it's been falling off the nail and I can go ahead and cure this if you don't want to mess anything up and it doesn't need to be cured for super long. I would say 10 seconds just so you don't mess it up. I'm going to put a little more art gel on here and at this point you're likely done with this. You could cover it. Many brands of art gel work. I just happen to have a couple that are my favorites that are linked in my bio. Um, Lux is what I'm using now and Young Nails is also good. Now we're going to do little cherry leaves. I'm going to go out and in, out and in. I'm not worried if it's super covering all the way. If some of that blue peeks through underneath, it just gives it dimension. Um, you can do just one on each one. I'm going to right here, make it a little bit fun and do two. Okay, up here we'll do a little one coming this way. And this is gonna have a little leaf coming off like that. Okay, so, so cute. 
go ahead and cure. Now while it cures, grab your wipe again. If it's gel, you know, that we're working with, just don't cure it and it won't ruin your nail. I'm gonna wipe this off. I do, oh, flew away from me. I do want to do a little bit of highlights in our cherry. So what we're gonna do is pull this out. This is like the last little step. Ooh, tiny bit of art gel. And I'm just gonna pick one side for it to reflect on and just go in and do a little cherry gleam little cherry gleam just to give some interesting highlights I said just along the curve then I'll cure this and while it's curing again we clean ourselves up or we're working on the other hand and then clean it up you don't want to clean up and then work on the other hand do both steps on both hands, then clean up and move to the next step. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off my palette so I don't make a mess. I'm gonna grab the top coat I wanna use and we're gonna have some dimension here. Some people like dimension, some people don't like dimension when they fill it, which means like that bumpiness from the raised. So be generous with your top coat. That also helps it wear a little bit more evenly so that your shine remains. So let's go through here and do our little bit of top coat. And then I'm just gonna go through the center and float to even out that line breaking. I'll even sometimes have them flip their hand upside down to pull it because I'm putting more. They'll just go like this and flip for a second and I watch it from underneath. And there you go. Look at those fun cherries. Love it.